Hello guys and welcome back to another Sir Spooks reaction. Today we're going to be reacting to Sir Spooks top 5 video, well top 5 scary videos that you won't watch full screen. Well, I'm watching them full screen. So let's go ahead and get right into the video guys. Like always, the original will be in the description, so like his videos if you like them. Uh, if you want to see more of his stuff, follow him. I'll sub to him. If you like my videos, like uh, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, follow me. And let's go ahead and uh, get this video started. Oh, not follow. Sub to me. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos. Okay. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads. As I said, guys, All right, original link begin. in the description. The following video was published to TikTok by a username Diego Spikers and seems to showcase him filming a video down an apartment corridor at 5pm. Okay. For the first few seconds of the video, all is eerily quiet before we hear Diego call something out, perhaps a name. He then quickly rushes to the door, and that's when this happens. Amy? Uh, somebody laughing. <laughs> this is definitely one of the most subtle yet chilling TikTok clips that I've seen in quite a long time. There's just something about simplistic clips like this one that always gives us goosebumps. To this day, this piece of footage has not gotten any answer. Why do people do that? They go straight over, and then they after they get there, they get there, they then turn it sideways. Wouldn't it have been better to uh, start going at an angle as you approach the door? That way, you'd be able to see what's behind it from the from the phone camera or whatever he's recording from. Why would you go over there and then turn the phone instead of turning it slowly as you're going around the corner? so that Diego can rest assured that his house is not haunted. Let's just hope that he manages to get away from whatever might be haunting him. By the way, uh, that just looked like somebody was holding a coat or something, uh, that was maybe on a hanger or something and attached to the roof or something like that. I don't, I'm not sure, but it just looked like there was a coat or something hanging there. Like there was something hanging there. Um... I'm not sure if uh, whatever it was was removed uh, from somebody behind the door or something else, but there could have been a jump cut when he uh, went forward and then turned left. But then again, you don't really need a jump cut from the way he did the video because he ran straight forward and then he panned left. While he was panning left, whoever it was could have simply slipped between him and the door. Today's video is sponsored by Dave, the banking app that can help you instantly. If you're living paycheck to paycheck or struggling to make ends meet, it can be really stressful when unexpected expenses come up. Now, Dave can help you get out I'm of the pinch when you really quiet need through it. His, uh, I remember not being able to buy my mother the gift I wanted because it was I've the said end all of I, the month. I have to say about I it. I had to give her a rock instead. What? She wasn't happy to say the least. If I had known about Dave, Throw it back and I would have been the able to give my mom the gift she deserved. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank, buy a wedding gift or catch up on bills. You can finally tackle those expenses that have been stretching you out without any hang-ups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you. Download Dave today at dave.com slash spooks. That's dave.com slash spooks. Sign up okay. for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fee supply. Banking provided by Evolve. Member FDIC. Future you will thank you. Thank you, Dave, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, guys, number four. 
This next video was published to a TikTok account belonging to a user named Olanabas Lamanyat and was presumably filmed in Indonesia. In the video, we follow the uploader as he seemingly wanders around what appears to be an abandoned building of some sort late at night. Already a bad idea, especially seeing at how it appears that he's doing this creepy investigation all by himself. Throughout the course of the video, he shows us around so the much eerie structure, area, which is structural to damage can be caused by those trees. As he walks around the distraught area, we don't see anything overtly scary. That is, at least at first. Nature will always reclaim uh, civilization uh, if left unattended. Un unattended. Nature will always try just to basically reclaim and retake everything. The trees will slowly sprout out. The grass will and other bushes will sprout out, the animals will come in finding shelter. As long as humans aren't there to dry the stuff off, nature will always reclaim it. First, around the 25 second mark of the video, something extremely creepy happens. A strange ghostly figure appears on the floor above him and proceeds to linger there throughout the remainder of the video. Take a look and see. Allahu Akbar. Astagfirullah ladim bau anjing. Goblok. It doesn't look ghostly to me. It looks like a solid person. Bau bau ya Allah Kang. Wa. Inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raji'un. Who or what is this spirit and what did it want with this TikTok user? Was it a friendly ghost or was it one that was planning to harm someone? If the latter was Oh, I was completely looking at the wrong thing. I was, I was looking at that. Well, I was looking at the right thing, but I was thinking that that G was part of the person. Was the case, we can all breathe a collective sigh of relief that that certain someone was not the uploader. Let me rewind it a bit. Or was it one that was planning to harm someone? It's like. Right here, I was thinking like where the where the G is. I was thinking the top of it was the head, uh, and basically the um, overhang of it, the part going down and curving up, uh, was basically hair and stuff going down. Let's get, let, let's get a look at this again. If the latter was the case, we can all breathe a collective sigh. Let me go a little further back. That that's... Who or what is this spirit and what did it want with this TikTok user? Was it a friendly ghost or was it one that was planning to harm someone? If the latter was the yeah, case, it's just a person. we can all breathe a collective sigh. A person or an animal, I'm not sure. That, that certain someone was not the uploader. Quality isn't that great. With the release of this year's Nope, it seems as though many people are getting back into the swing of things when it comes to investigating the existence of UFOs and alien life. One of the many people who have What is Nope? I've never heard of it. ...have allegedly come into close contact with a UFO is the brother of this Reddit user named KiamH2230. KiamH says that when he first saw the footage, he was understandably pretty freaked out by it all. The Reddit user asked him for all the details and his brother sent him the footage. Quote, I recorded this on my Sony Xperia 5 in East Kilbride, Scotland, on 10th of September 2022 at 8pm. There are two objects in the sky moving at a steady speed. They were not massive, I reckon about the size of a jeep, maybe twice that size at most. Definitely smaller than a plane and a lot bigger than a drone. They had no lights, no wings, no windows, and no propellers. They also were completely silent. The objects looked a lot bigger in real life. In the video, the objects appear to be black, but in real life they had a similar color to a cloud. Not quite white, but not quite grey. 
They look to have a sphere or tic-tac shape. They look solid and metallic. They seem to have some smoke coming out of them sometimes. But it was hard to know if it was just them moving through clouds, causing an effect that looked like smoke. In terms of height, they were flying about twice the height of a typical city building, definitely lower than a plane would travel in." End quote. See that? I don't like it how the... I don't like it when they have to show you a bunch of UFO, uh, UFOs from movies and stuff beforehand to put the image of a UFO in your mind when you, they're about to show you something. Two of them. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? I don't know what the hell that is. They look like balloons. Where's the other one? Yeah, I don't know where the other one is. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Right. Just look at this one then. What is that? What in the name of f is that? It's probably like it's really low, so it's about the, the height of a, a, a building. So it's not like up in the sky. What in the name of hell? What is that? Right, so there's two. Where's this? I don't know. You can't get con any contrast uh, to see how how far out it actually is because of where it is in the sky. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing you can compare its distance with. Where the second ones went. Right, I'm just gonna focus on this one. There was two. Oh no, there is like. Where is it? There's a second. By watching the footage, the strange objects in the sky certainly don't appear to be anything of the ordinary. They appear to be something much more fascinating. They look like of course, we also have to put a lot of trust in the videographer here, because obviously we weren't there to see this video be filmed. But I'm curious, what do you make of this video? Did this person end up filming legitimate proof of the existence of aliens? Were these two objects in the sky something much less sinister? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Balloons are helium filled trash bags. Same thing. Number two. This next video comes to us from Japan, uploaded to TikTok by a user named C Blues M, and starts off with a bang. The footage shows the videographer entering a room with his night vision camera activated. What initially appears to be a normal empty room will quickly show itself to be anything but normal. That looked a lot bigger when he turned around. A strange ghost can be seen lingering in the corner of the room. As soon as the videographer notices this, he quickly panics and races out of the room, where he is met by a friend who accompanied him for the investigation. Amazingly, they manage to muster up the courage to enter there. the room once again, but this time they see that the creepy entity is no longer anywhere to be found, which strikes them as odd. Who was this scary figure and what did it want? To this day, nobody knows the answer for sure, but we can only hope that this TikTok user doesn't venture back into this place to find out. Okay, number one. Videos that we have of our kids. Again, those last two, uh, I believe I watched other videos from them or similar videos. Uh, obviously fake, but... The ones I've seen so far have been fun to watch, they have been enjoyable. It's are ones that we are always going to hold near and dear to our hearts. After all, it seems as if kids grow up in front of us within the blink of an eye. 
so it's important to make sure you have the most memorable moments of their life captured on film so you can always go back and reminisce. However, not every video of our young ones is going to be precious. Some will be looked upon with fear and unease, as evidenced by the following video published by TikTok user RosieB2326 on September 4th, 2022. The video in question starts off with a young girl walking around in the kitchen, simply going about her day. She can be seen carrying around a container of some sort, before she eventually stops to talk to an unseen entity off-screen. But that's not the creepiest part. Okay. About a second or two later, this can be seen happening. Is that supposed to be nowhere, something that the container and the is that supposed to be something trying to take it from her because it did not look like that at all the young girl's hands is seemingly jerked out of her grasp for a few moments before she is able to get a good hold of it once again but of course this begs the question who or what was talking on the container by watching the video we can clearly see that there was nobody there that could have been talking on the container amazingly the young girl doesn't seem scared about what just happened at all in fact, once she regains her grip on the container, she simply wanders off into a different room without a care at all in the world. What do you think happened here? Did this young girl come into contact with a paranormal entity? Was she just goofing around? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, either what I think is either she has an imaginary friend that she was talking to, Again, it didn't look like anything was trying to grab anything from her uh, there to me. It does look like she almost tripped, though, the first one. With the others, uh, with the other one, uh, it just didn't look like she was being grabbed, because if anything with any form of strength at all, even a little, well, even, even another kid, they would have been able to take that out of her hand. She didn't have that good of a grasp, and her hands are too small. Um... So they can't get a good grip on it. Unless there's actually, well, if there's somebody actually standing there, which it, there is, it is possible it is off the, uh, off the side and there is enough room for somebody to be standing there, but I don't think anybody grabbed the stuff she was holding. And that was five scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I did enjoy it. Thank you, Sir Spooks. Already content. subscribed, man. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. See you in the next video, man. I wish I was a fast enough reader to read off all those names. Well, anyway, that's the end of the video, and uh, we're done with this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.